Hey guys, it's Colin Flopman here again with the Western Way. So in my past couple videos, I've kind of talked to you about stuff that I use hunting uh, with my game bags and different packs that I've used out west. Uh, so today I thought I'd take the time out to tell you about the actual camo I use. Um, it's such an influential part of the hunting process and staying hidden and that stuff um, that I thought it'd be important to let you know what I use when I go hunting. Today I have three different camo patterns that I like to use. Uh, they all kind of work better in their own regard. Um, the first one I have here is this Realtree AP camo. I use it when I go whitetail hunting mainly. It has dark leaves. Uh, it's mainly dark brown color but it does incorporate some green in it. It makes it easier when you're trying to blend in and tree. But that's not the only camo that Realtree makes. The most popular camo they have is this Realtree AP. I'm sure everyone's seen this. Um, but they also make Realtree Max 1, which is more of a western camo. It incorporates more of the sagebrush into it. They also have Realtree Max 4, which is a waterfowl camo. It has like reeds and cattails in it. So it works better for duck hunting or people even use it for upland hunting. And the last one they have is Realtree Hardwoods. That's mainly for spring turkey hunters. There's more green into the pattern, bigger, greener leaves. Um, it just brushes you in easier when you're hunting from the ground, so it's nice for that. The second one I have here is this King's Camo. They also make three different patterns. This one right here is the Desert Shadow. They have the Mountain Shadow and the Snow Shadow. Obviously the Snow Shadow speaks for itself. I don't have to explain that too quick. The Mountain Shadow, how it differs from this, is there's more trees and pines into it. Um, there's, poor, there's more needles as far as this one, the Desert Shadow has more sagebrush um, and it's also a lighter color tan. I used this when I was out in Wyoming hunting antelope. That's more of the terrain that you see out there. But also the, the woodland camo would have worked, but I just prefer the looks of this and I feel like I blend in a lot better with this. You can see here it does have some aspect of branches into it, but it's just more of the, the sagebrush, the the ground cover like what you would see out in Wyoming. The next camo I have here is this QU camo. This is more popular especially for elk hunters. This is the QU Vias uh, pattern. They also make QU Verde which is more of the digital camo. Looks more like an army pattern in that regard. Um, it kind of resembles Sitka in a way with just different colors. Um, but what's nice about this is it's darker. You can use this for when you're in Colorado where it's more timber and it's darker, closer, and you got shadows everywhere. This helps you blend in there. But what QU is really known for is their layering system. So this is obviously just a t-shirt, just a base layer, really small. Just wear it if you're going to go hiking. Um, but they also make like vests to keep your core warm. They make insulated jackets to go over it so you can peel and put on layers as you get warm. This tends to be more expensive than King's Camo and the Realtree. The Realtree obviously being the cheapest and then King's kind of middle of the line. But Kuyu you'll definitely pay a little bit more for but it also will keep you a lot warmer in that regard if you are hunting out west. So those are three different kind of patterns that I use. The Realtree AP obviously being for the whitetail woods in the midwest. Just have more of a white oak, darker, more sticks kind of feel to it. Uh, it helps you blend in with trees better. The King's Camo is obviously better for the western prairie, such as Wyoming or even South Dakota. Uh, there's more sagebrush incorporated into it. It's a lighter tan, so it helps you blend in with the ground cover better. And then this QU over here for the shadows of the Colorado woods if you're out backcountry hunting for elk or something like that. It also has a little bit better layering system, so it'll keep you warm in that regard. So that's all I have today. If you could do me a favor, go to my page, check out my other videos if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, my website is westernway640.wordpress.com. And if you could, go give me a like and a follow on Twitter and Instagram. It's westernway640. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching.